In this tutorial, you will learn how to create message box in Microsoft Excel. We will look into two types of message box. These are message box using data validation and message box using VBA. First, let's look at the examples of message box. Here, I have a column to enter invoice numbers. Let me put some invoice numbers. When I was entering numeric values, entry was accepted, but as soon as I entered a text value, I got this message box pop-up which says, please enter numeric values only. This message box is created using data validation. In this second example, I have a data of item-wise quantity sold for a week. Beside the data, here is a button to clear the sales data. When I click on this button, I got a message box which is asking for the confirmation of deleting the data. This message box is created using VBA. Let's learn how do we do this in Excel. First, look into data validation method. The message box we get in data validation method is actually a error alert message box which pops up when an invalid entry is done. For example, this invoice number column is supposed to have the numeric values only. When it detects a text value, it should throw an error message box. To create this type of message box, first select the cell range to apply validation. Click on data tab, then data validation. In the Settings tab, activate this drop-down menu and select Custom. In the Formula box, put the Data Entry Rule, which is is equal to is number C4 equal to true. This will check whether the value you put in the selected range is a number value. Click on Error Alert tab. In the Title, put Input Error. In the Error Message, put Please Enter Numeric Value Only. Click on OK button. Now, if you enter an invalid value in the range, you'll get the error message box. So, that was about creating error message box using data validation. If you want to learn more on data validation, watch our comprehensive video tutorial on it from the video description below. Let's look into another type of message box that we create using the VBA code. First, create a button to trigger delete operation of sales data. Click on Insert, Illustrations, Shapes. Click on this rectangular rounded corner shape. Click hold and drag the mouse to draw the shape. Double click inside shape to add text on it. Write clear data. Now to create message box, click on developer tab, then visual basics. In the VBA window, click on insert, then module. In the module window, create a sub procedure. Sub clear underscore data. Open and close brackets then press enter. Between this sub and n sub, write the VBA code. Dim result as integer. Result is equal to message box. Do you really want to clear the sales data? VB yes, no. If result equal to VB yes, then range E5 to H11 dot clear contents. End if. Now, this code will generate delete confirmation message box when clicked on clear button. Close the VBA editor and right click on the clear data button. Click on assign macro. Choose the clear data macro and click on OK. Now, click on clear data button. Here you see the delete confirmation message box is displayed. Click on yes to delete the sales data. When you click on no button, data won't be deleted. After creating message box using VBA, you have to save the Excel workbook in macro enabled format. For this, click on the file tab, save as in the file format list, select Excel macro enabled workbook and save the file. If you are new in VBA coding and want to learn VBA basic to advanced, then watch our video tutorials from the playlist link given in video description below. If you want to practice this, Download the sample workbook file from the link in video description. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing our channel if you are new here. See you in next tutorial.